we are back it's been a while i know i know it's been a bit last time we were on this game we had some green-haired monster threatening us we had vases falling from our apartment building complex trying to take us out and we had this creep toma acting as if he is our father slash brother slash boyfriend so let's see what this day will bring me and um, Orion. See if I can reclaim any of my memories this time around, guys. Thank you for joining Bad Coffee Cakes. Good morning. You're up early today. The weather's nice. It's August, but it feels like autumn. Didn't we say that the last time? After we change and eat breakfast, we should go check the mailbox like we talked about yesterday. Are we not going to talk about how yesterday was super duper crazy? I doubt you remember anything by looking in a mailbox, but it's worth a shot. Sure. As long as no one's throwing vases from the top floor again. The mailboxes were on the first floor. I wonder if they have names on them. Um, or probably like apartment numbers. If they do, you know your neighbor's names, but maybe the building doesn't share personal info like that. I mean, I wouldn't like mine to. Let's see, which mailbox has your room on it? Hmm? What the? Uh, let's go back. Back home. Hurry. Lord. Lord. I don't have time for this. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? That was scary. So scary and strange. What was it? Did you see that? You saw it, right? No. No. The mailbox with your room number is full of rotten eggs and dead bugs. Ew. Who would do that? What was that? That's not something people normally get in the mail. Obviously, someone must have put it in there. I was so shocked, I felt like I couldn't get back to the room fast enough. What was all that? Message? Now of all times? Oh, we just got into the game. Don't look at me like that. Who's it from? It's from Sawa. I heard from the manager that you'll be taking time off work. Are you okay? Iki seemed worried after hearing about it. So wait, 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 Iki is the one that we've been seeing in the back room, which is like behind one of the, could, could we get this music out of my ear though? I'm kind of creeped out still. Um, yeah. And we called out that one day, but we didn't say we were going to, did we say we were going to call out for multiple days? I don't remember. Unless Toma went back and said more things to our manager about us not coming in, which I hope he did not. I wonder if Sawa is a co-worker of yours. She seems to know Iki too. It sounds like she is. From the contents of the message, it sounds like Iki is at the cafe today. So you think maybe I can stop by the cafe? Un, you know, expected and see if I could actually speak to Iki. That's what I'm hearing. Hey. <coughs> Hey, want to try meeting up at the cafe now? We can meet up with Iki. You might remember something when you see him. I would love to do that if that psycho Toma doesn't come running in here. Oh, right. Leaving would require us to pass by the mailbox of terror. Oh, I don't mind that. I worried about this green-haired guy that was threatening me last time and Toma, who is a threat. 
Orion, relax. You are literally a figment of my imagination. Nothing could even happen to you. I'm good. I'm on a punk. I'm fine. You're the one who needs to be calm, Orion. I'm trying to figure out this mystery, dude. We waited 30 minutes? This is the only time Toma's not around and we're sitting around waiting? We should clean out the mailbox first. Why? What does that have to do with us? It's gross and scary, and I guess we can't just leave it like that. How depressing. I would. I'm going, I'm hitchhiking it right to the cafe. Hoo, 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 hoo. And get into the, like, why are we? I don't know. We get distracted by the easiest of things. Huh? Told you, I 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 told you. We could have left 30 minutes ago. Probably been on the way back by now. Probably would have gotten caught actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe that would have been a good idea. Maybe that would have been a good idea. Are you about to go somewhere? I came to check up on you. Yeah, I came to leave. Oh, it's Toma. He's here to see you today too. I don't think it would be a good idea for me to flat out say, I want to talk to Iki, right? Last time we mentioned his name, he rubbed us the wrong way. It was a little bit odd. If we just say we want to go to work, we don't even got to say we're going to work, we just go to the place, maybe just hang out at the cafe, something like that. It seems like he really wants to wedge between all of our relationships. I'll say that. That cafe. Oh, were you thinking about how the manager told you to come by sometime? Sure. But well, regardless, I'll accompany you there. Let's go. We left the mailbox like that. Didn't what Toma notice? I don't want to make him worry. This might make things weird. We don't need him worrying and then clinging to us even more. What we don't need. I can't believe it. There isn't even a trace. So he must have removed it. It's not, it can't just disappear. He must have took it out. Maybe the janitor might have picked it up. Or maybe Thomas knows about something. What's wrong? Well, this is something we don't want to remember. Let's just forget about it, Mocha. Not really. It kind of sounds like he's trying to hide or protect us from something. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit under the weather. There's a train. Bad timing, I guess. There's no use trying to rush. Let's just take it easy. Gone. Mocha, what was that? That was close, you were almost run over. How, Toma, it's only me and you here. Who's pushing me? Did someone push you just now? Toma, you're right next to me. Did you not see anybody? That was scary, are you okay, Mocha? Didn't it seem like someone shoved you? Who was it? You wait here and I'll go. No, I shouldn't. I can't just leave you alone. Let's go home for now. I won't take no for an answer, understand? See, that's what makes me think it's him. He's always trying to keep me at home. There is that flower pot from yesterday. Then the railroad crossing today. There's something wrong here, no matter how I look at it. This isn't a situation I can just ignore. Anything changed around you lately? Tell me if it has. It doesn't matter how trivia it may seem. The biggest change was me merging with you, but I doubt that's related. I, I don't know anything anymore. Let's see, there was a suspicious man yesterday. Do you think you should tell Toma about him? 
and that might not be for the best even if it might be hard for you to talk about it might be for the best i don't want to tell him no 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 why did we why doesn't anybody listen to me I think death warning would be more appropriate than murder. Either way, I'm gonna die at the end of it. If I knew about it, that I would have been more careful. Why didn't you tell me about that sooner, you idiot? It wouldn't be a laughing matter if that man was involved in today's incident. But did we tell him that this man said Toma was going to be the one to murder me, not he was going to be the one to murder me. That means... What is that face? I don't like that music, I don't like that music, I don't like that music, I don't like that music. That means you'll probably be killed. What? Well, even if he doesn't do anything, thanks to his wish being granted, you're probably going to die. That puts more suspicion on you, Toma. That'd mean that he has the intent of killing and the will to actually act upon that intent. Although I doubt the police could do anything, even if I we told them about this. The only thing they do is patrol the area until someone actually comes to harm. Mocha, pack your stuff up. You can stay over for a few days. Right now. No. No. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> what? No. No. Is this okay? It is not okay. This guy is a... I don't trust Homa. I don't care. I feel like I have better chances being at home by myself with this gray haired guy than with Toma. Ah, uh, we stupid. All right, we're stupid. Got it. Got it. Now I know. I'll leave your bag here. Just make yourself at home. No. He forced you to come here. He did. He did. Yes. This is uncomfortable. Is this Toma's house? Where is his family? Wait, does Toma live by himself? I don't care. Isn't it dangerous to stay over at his place like this? It is very dangerous. Well, you're dating, but still. Have you gone this far? I don't even believe we're truly dating. I believe that is a load of barnacles. This is your first time here, isn't it? You came over to my parents' house a lot before. Shen drops to by once in a while, usually without any notice. I hope he drops by soon. Sorry for forcing you to come here. I'm sorry that I was willing to be forced. I was just too worried about after yesterday and today. I'm sorry I didn't ask for your input in this. Just think of this as your own home. That might be difficult, but you can do whatever you want here. I want to go home. I'll be, be I'll be using my computer for a little while. Feel free to look around and use whatever book and games you might like. Oh no, this is a setup. We can't help it now. There's not much we can do like this, but I understand where Tom was coming from. It'd be nice if he could find something to pass time. Is this a photo album? It is. Wow, well, look here. It's a tiny Toma. And that you, is that you next to him? Wow, you're so cute.
And this kid would be Shin, right? He's crying. He's crying. There's ice cream at his feet. I'm glad you're laughing at a situation like this. But you're crying in this one. What could have happened? Am I getting a memory blast? Wah, wah. Hmm. Mocha. I'll fix it now. Just wait. It's okay. Don't cry. Come on, Mocha. When I was little, I broke a little toy I had. I was so shocked that I had broken it. I became sad. I started to cry, so Toma knelt down by me and stroked my head. Shin sat next to me and tried to fix it himself. I was so happy. Toma's hands were so warm. I really wasn't sad for long, but I pretended to cry for a long time. This is a memory of a slightly sneaky, but a very happy moment. Shin, Toma, I know we're not about to go to sleep in this man's house. I, ever since then, I... Oh my god. Oh gosh. Alright guys, so we're gonna pause here. Since we did decide to sleep in this grown man's house. Um... My gosh. And we're going to end this episode here. So thanks, Coffee Kinks. Thanks for checking it out. Next time we come back, we're going to figure out what Toma, me, and Oriana are going to do about this situation that's happening, this threat. But until then, we'll be here. <laughs> so till the next time, guys. Give me a week or something. I'm just still thinking about all of the choices we have made and all the choices that are to come. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you. God bless your timeline. Be safe, guys.